All right, back again, Luke here. And uh, today I thought we could do another update here on the old plastic bezel here for the Super Neo 29. As you can see, uh, it has slightly changed. Uh, if you take a look at the top part over here, you can see that that's gotten much, much lighter. And there are, uh, you know, some parts here where I've gotten a bit lighter than others. And uh, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably maybe because it dried out or something to that nature. But what I'm gonna do today is uh, I got another bowl here mixed up with the Oxidol and just some regular uh, uh, cooking flour and we're gonna put this on the sides here and let this thing sit out again and see what happens with this part so that's what I'm gonna do today that's what I'm up to right now so I'm gonna try and get on that I'll put the old camera down here I've already mixed it up to make it a little bit easier I'm just gonna apply it by hand <laughs> kind of the caveman way and just go from there let's, uh, let's put this down here And I'll add a bit more of this to make it a little bit, I guess, more wet. Got some cardboard this time, so that should make it a little bit easier as well. But uh, this is just going to be the rough and kind of dirty way of doing things. You can see there's a huge difference with uh, the Oxidol when you mix it with the baking flour, um, it actually fizzes quite a bit, so. And the sun is peeking out here from time to time. It's not remaining constant, unfortunately, but hopefully it'll be good, uh, or good enough, to try and get this to bake on here a little bit better. And hopefully by keeping this on here with the rest of the, um, the uh, flour here, it'll allow this to uh, get a bit brighter. I know this is probably generally the same way that uh, Retro Bright is done, but you know, like I had mentioned in my other videos, I'm just trying out different things. And one thing that I actually recommend, which would be kind of cool to see, I know that in some countries, some of the chemicals just cannot be found, but it would be nice to see if uh, you know other people in other countries were to go out and try this same kind of experiment using something in their own country that uh, may work. And by doing so, just sharing the details with um, you know with people who are in their area so that they can do the same kind of thing, even if they don't have the exact same products in their area. You know, everybody just kind of helping out everybody else. So they can get their systems, keep their systems and their, um, you know, the plastic on the systems looking really good for a long time. I think that's kind of important. I know that sometimes, um, especially in Japan here, when things like uh, plastics and whatever get really yellow, people just throw them out. And it has nothing to do with the actual ability of the system to work or the machine's, you know, performance, but it's just based on the, uh, you know, the color of it and it's just not something that's appealing to anybody, so. You can imagine how many uh, machines and how many things could be saved here by just going along and doing something like this if you could find the, the original ingredients or something that works really well. So as you can see, it's on here right now, once again. So just let that sit on there and there may be some parts that, uh, you know, I don't know, maybe don't come out exactly even. As of this point right now, I don't exactly know what's going to happen with it, but we'll see. And next we'll go over here to uh, this, this one here. Maybe tilt this up a little bit. The uh, humidity here is pretty intense. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's not as bad as I've heard, you know, other places like getting like Singapore, I've heard that that gets up to like 60%, 60-70% humidity, which is just, I mean, unreal to think about, but um, humidity right now in Japan is about 30, 38, something like that, so, still enough. <laughs> it's nice when the sun's peeking out, I think they were talking about rain this weekend, but I'm not sure.
One thing's for sure though, it's definitely gotten lighter. And uh, even if I were to put this on just the way it is right now, it would look uh, a million times better than the current setup that it has on there. Because the, uh, the one that's inside, what I'll probably do here eventually when I get everything all done is I'll make a comparison. I'll take off the other one and uh, I'll show you what the other one looks like because I'll probably be doing that. Uh, the other one the same way as I did this one here. And I'll let you guys see uh, before and after because the other one basically looks now how this one used to look before. It might actually be worse. But one other thing too with like painting, um, unfortunately with the painting of the stuff, uh, it doesn't seep into the plastic and that's where the fire retardant is. And if it doesn't get into the plastic on the inside there, that uh, that fire retardant is just going to make the plastic really brittle. And eventually, even if you do paint it, it'll uh, it'll snap, snap off. You can see some uh, game systems like that on eBay. You can see some of the uh, SNESs where the plastic has just broken off. It's just become really brittle. So. Alright, so there we go. We've got our uh, kind of mixture here all applied and we'll see how it goes, see what happens with it. It's definitely going to have to be something that needs to be rewashed, but yeah. Hopefully we'll get a little bit of some better results here and it'll be a bit brighter within the next couple of days or so. We'll come back out and give it another check, but just thought I'd share this with you guys here. This is part five of the process of trying to sun bleach this thing and yeah that's about all for me for right now like always i'll put up another video here soon so thanks for watching